Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms. Been having some issues with my uh, side curtain controller on the high tunnel. And after speaking with the uh, manufacturer of the controller itself, uh, greenhouse company that actually produces these for sale as a single individual unit, and a couple of electricians, I think I figured out a way to get it to work. This is the controller right here. Get around this way on it. There we go. It's a 152 C double L group thermostat controller. So let me show you what I figured out. So this is how it is now wired up. These wires at the bottom go out to the motor. These ones up here, it's kind of hard to see, are branched off the white line. I don't have much cord there. So I got two blacks coming off of one, two reds coming off the other. So blacks up here, blacks up here, reds up here. Red down here. These are the ones that are actually switched by the switch in the controller. It goes from here to here. These go out to the motor itself. Originally I wired it with the positive and negative coming from the 24 volt transformer to the bottom two pins on the unit which is 11 and 31. So I'll have my positive path go to one side of the motor my negative path go to the other side of the motor. When these both pop, then now I've got the positive going to the other side of the motor and my negative going to the other side. So that actually reverses the motor because it's a DC motor. The issue I've been having is they're not popping at the same time. So what happens is that this pops over here and now all of a sudden I've created a short because this one hasn't popped yet. So my positive path comes up comes to where they're tied together and then comes back down and causes a short in the uh, transformer. What happens is that these switches that go back and forth, when they get shorted out on that 24 volt uh, transformer, it actually causes them to stick on the inside. So then this sticks here and then when this decides to switch back or the other one finally goes and pops, works just fine. But then when it pops back, this one will not pop because now it has seized itself when the unit switched. In order to fix that, I've got to take apart the switch itself where all the pins are located on the back of the uh, controller pad. There's four screws. So you've got your spot where you hook all your wires in. There's four screws here on the corners. You take those out and then there's two little metal switches behind it. Kind of look like this. There's a little pad here and a little pad here. These things go up and down. All you got to do is push down on it or pop up on it and it'll unseize them. The way I figured out to counter that is, is actually hook it up backwards. So now I'm bringing my power in this side hooking to 34 and 12, which would be here and here. And my negative goes there and there from the other side, which is 32 and 14. Now, the worst that can happen is that if I have them pop out of order like this, now I've got a positive going to both sides of a motor. If the other one, if this one's here and then this one pops here, I'll just have negatives going. Running a straight positive or negative current to a motor will not damage it. It just won't do anything. As long as they are both off of the same initial power supply, it's basically like taking 
two of the hot wires holding your hand. It's not going to shock you. Two of the negative wires holding your hand. It's not going to shock you. But if you put the positive and negative together and touch, you're going to get a shock. So I hope this helps you if you've been having problems. The other solution I had for this, um, after talking to the greenhouse company that produces these as a uh, model they actually sell, is to use a 12 volt transformer. Apparently, when you get the short situation where you have your line coming in and one pops out of sync and it comes back down, so you short positive to negative, it's not strong enough to actually seize them together. So I've been told. But for now, I'm just running mine like this and it's been working great ever since then. Hope you all like what you saw here today. Thought it was useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good day.